Math story proper improper and mixed fractions the fraction train to the rescue dive into the magical world of math by downloading uncle math mobile app children there is a crisis uncle science just called to tell me that some of the nearby villages are on fire there has been significant damage from the fire and the residents are in danger we must quickly go help them let us go to their villages in our spacecraft and save people but the sky is filled with dark smoke going there through a spacecraft will not be safe and we will not be able to board thousands of people in one spacecraft hey i got an idea let's take a train train yes that's a great idea as lots of people can fit in we all have never been on a train so it would be super exciting too pam pam honks the train the kids are excited about the journey uncle math hopes that his friend is safe and that together they can save many people uncle math enters 3 by 4 and starts the train Woohoo! Kids are excited. Uncle Math, why do three and four look different here? Three by four, is it a fraction? Great observation, Trio. Three by four is a fraction. As this is a fraction train, it takes the distance in terms of fractions. Three by four is the location of the first village. So I entered the same on the map displayed here. Oh, I get it. Villages are at three by four, ten by four, and nineteen by four on the track. But when we move, the top number gets bigger, while the bottom stays four. Why? Look, five distinct sections in our track make up five holes. Every hole consists of four equal parts. Thus, if we begin at zero and arrive at one by four. We have crossed one part out of the four parts of the first hole. Similarly, when we are at the three-fourth part, we have covered three parts of the first hole. Got it? Amazing! So after crossing four by four of the distance, we would have covered all four sections of the first hole. Exactly. Also, look, Sarah. All these one by four. 2 by 4 and 3 by 4 are less than 1. Exactly. Such fractions where the numerator, the top number, is smaller than the denominator, the bottom number, are called proper fractions. All the proper fractions are always less than 1. The kids now understand proper fractions and want to sit back and enjoy the journey. Soon the first village arrives. Uncle Math and the kids get off the train and board as many people as possible. Let me enter 10 by 4, the location of the next village. Can you find out how many holes will be covered in 10 by 4 to reach the next village? Easy. To find that out, I can easily count the 10 smaller parts and see how many holes it covers. So, 10 by 4 covers two holes. Perfect. Such fractions whose numerator is greater than the denominator are called improper fractions. All the improper fractions are greater than 1. Guess what? 10 by 4 can also be written as 2 and 2 by 4. Can you guess why? I know. 10 by 4 covers two holes and two parts are left extra. Brilliant. This 2 and 2 by 4 is called a mixed fraction. It has two parts where 2 indicates the total number of holes and 2 by 4 indicates the remaining parts. A mixed fraction is always the combination of the whole number and a proper fraction. They see animals and trees outside while enjoying their journey. Soon the second village arrives. They help more people board the train. Now I will enter the location of the last village which is 19 by 4. Can you convert this improper fraction into a mixed fraction? 
19 by 4 is 4 holes and 3 by 4 extra. So, it's 4 and 3 by 4. Correct! But there is another easy trick to convert improper fractions into mixed fractions. For that, simply divide the numerator by the denominator and place the quotient on this side, representing the whole and the remainder as the numerator in the mixed fraction while the denominator remains the same. So when we divide 19 by 4, we obtain 4 as the quotient and 3 as the remainder, which makes the mixed fraction 4 and 3 by 4. That's amazing! You are absolutely correct! Kids, there is even a fantastic trick to convert mixed fractions into improper fractions. Simply, we just need to multiply the denominator by the whole number and add the numerator to the product. For example, a mixed fraction of 4 and 3 by 4 can be converted into an improper fraction simply by calculating 4 into 4 plus 3 by 4 which is 19 by 4. Pum pum! The horn blows! The fraction train is ready to take off with thousands of people. It was indeed a beautiful journey that did not just help to save lots of people but also taught kids proper, improper and mixed fractions. Hello kids! Today we have learned about the types of fractions. Let's have a quick recap of the same. A fraction where the numerator is smaller than the denominator is called a proper fraction. All the proper fractions are always less than 1. For example, 3 by 4 slices of pizza. Fractions where the numerator is greater than the denominator are called improper fractions. All the improper fractions are greater than 1. For example, 10 by 4 slices of pizza. A mixed fraction is always the combination of the whole number and a proper fraction. All mixed fractions are greater than 1. For example, 1 and 1 by 2 slices of pizza. So next time, while eating your pizza slice, don't forget to determine the type of fraction it represents. Let's see how to convert mixed fractions to improper fractions. An improper fraction is the fraction with the numerator higher than the denominator. Conversion of a mixed fraction into an improper fraction. Step 1. Multiply the denominator by the whole number. Step 2. Add the numerator to the product obtained. Step 3. Take sum as the new numerator. Step 4. Keep the denominator the same. Now. Just try to convert 4 and 3 by 6 into an improper fraction. Isn't it so simple? No fear when I'm here. Now let's explore the conversion of improper fractions to mixed fractions. A mixed fraction is a combination of three parts. The whole number, the numerator and the denominator. Conversion of an improper fraction to a mixed fraction. Step 1. Divide the numerator by the denominator. Step 2. Make the quotient a whole number of the mixed fraction. Step 3. Make the remainder a new numerator. Step 4. Make the divisor the denominator. As you know the steps of conversion, quickly convert 19 by 3 into a mixed fraction. Who asked for help from Uncle Matt? Uncle Science What kinds of fractions have a smaller numerator than the denominator? Proper fractions What type of fraction is 3 and 3 by 4? Mixed fraction Download the Uncle Math mobile app to your Apple or Android mobile device. Stay tuned! To enjoy viewing more such math games, songs and stories, please like, share and subscribe to our channel.